The so-called gig economy is about to get a big makeover. The Labor Department announcing a new rule Tuesday that could see millions of American workers reclassified from independent contractors to regular employees. This is one of President Biden's most important priorities. The new rule replaces a Trump-era regulation classifying most gig employees as contractors. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce, quote, it threatens the flexibility of individuals to work when and how they want and could have significant negative impacts on our economy. Biden's new anti-independent contractor rule totaling a mind-numbing 339 pages cast tens of millions of independent professionals into a regulatory hellscape where the fate of countless livelihoods and careers is at stake. Published by the Department of Labor on January 10th, 2024, the final rule is inspired by California's infamous AB5. When the rule goes into effect this March, California's petri dish of bad ideas will continue to metastasize nationwide. Uh, anything pop out at you that you wanted to talk about tonight? Oh man, I'm still, I mean... I'm on page. I know I'm a slow reader. I'm on page seven of 339. I'm just wondering how long. This is going to take. Yeah, in all seriousness, yeah. just read that. Have, the, have, he, have any of the four of you read 339 pages of it? Uh, not all of it. I have breezed through it. I have not read from cover to cover. I've got a hot take for you, Tom. I don't uh, think anybody's read 339 pages, including the author. I think there's multiple authors, and 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 the multiple authors. <laughs> Didn't read the other author's parts of it. Oh, probably not. Yeah. I don't think anybody's read it all. That was one of the arguments on the Senate floor yesterday. Was it really? Yes. <laughs> it, it fires me up, man, because like I, I think it's disrespectful to we the people to to draft a 339 page document with any with any sincerity that. Um, <laughs> you know, the, well, you brought up the U.S. Constitution earlier. That's four pages, y'all. Four. Yeah. Right. It fires me up because it I don't think it honors our time to uh, pretend like people are going to read it. And some I forget who made the point earlier, but it was a great point. You know, it's it's purposeful that and yeah. and Tom, you said um, you can't be a what you say? You can't be an expert on um, murkiness. Yeah, I, I don't care how precisely those three hundred and thirty nine pages are written. No one's going to be an expert on it because nobody's going to read it. And uh, it's a shame. And there needs yeah. to, in my opinion beyond dissecting the 339 pages we just i kind of go back to the basics and i think there need to be boundaries in place to prevent that from happening i mean it, it's it's not even the specific politicians fault because there's figurehead politicians for any number of things where they're kind of the poster child for what goes on but they didn't have much to do with it and they'll sign off on it and maybe maybe they'll even tell you they read it at least the four of y'all are you're good enough people to tell me that you didn't read it all. Some of these politicians will just lie to you anyway and say they read it and they didn't. Uh, no, they um, didn't. And the truth of it is, if I did sit down and memorize, memorize all 339 pages, I would be no closer to being able to help anybody understand how this impacts your life. At a certain point, we got to lean back into common sense. My, my wife, Tom, is a high school English teacher. If she gives a 2,000 word essay and the kid shows up with 100 words, she's going to say, I'm not even going to read it. Take the late penalty. Do it again. This is not sufficient. Similarly, if she asks for a 2,000 word essay and they show up with 339 pages, she's going to say, <laughs> Do it again. Right. Not, not good enough. Not good enough. Our communication skills leave a lot to be desired. And so we either need to communicate all this stuff differently or just i don't i don't i don't i don't even pretend like to, to know what the answers are i don't know the answers what i do know is what we're doing right now it ain't working i guess anyway. we need better high school english teachers huh <laughs> <laughs>